Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Technofiber. Technofiber introduces Black Code Lime and Fire. Black Code Inside, Wild Outside. Available online and in stores August 23rd. Another match fixing allegation and this one is swirling around Winston-Salem. The Tennis Integrity Unit announced that it's investigating Alexander Dokopolov's opening round loss in Winston-Salem hours after the match was completed. World number 114, Tiago Monteiro, defeated the 63rd ranked Dokopolov 6-3, 6-3 in the opening round. The Telegraph reports that betting patterns on this match were suspicious. Monteiro was initially listed as a 3-1 underdog. But before the match began, those odds flipped, making him the favorite due to a high activity of bets on the Brazilian. The TIU took the unusual step of confirming its investigation in the hours after that match was over, saying that they will assess, make a judgment, and then take appropriate action on the information. Now, this was Montero's second win over Dokopolov this season. Dokopolov had received a letter from the TIU way back in 2010. However, the 28-year-old Ukrainian has never been charged or censured. Now, as we tape today's news, there was no indication that either player has been implicated in any wrongdoing regarding that match, just that betting patterns set off some alarms. In 10 years, the TIU has handed out 10 lifetime bans for corruption. Of course, we're going to keep following this story and we'll let you know if there are any more developments. It was a great week for Grigor Dimitrov, who captured the biggest title of his career in Cincinnati. Contesting his 250th career hard court match, Grigor beat Nick Kyrgios to claim his first Masters Championship and return to the top 10. Never mind his big win, though. Reporters had other questions for Grigor in his post-match press conference. Somebody asked who he thinks the hottest guy on tour is. And to play along, Grigor picked Spanish heartthrob Feliciano Lopez. And here's why. I go with, uh, I mean, Feli. I've always been an admirer of Feli. Fair up is yeah, I like this guy a lot. Like it's just I mean every time he's like it's just fit and good and this long hair and the beard and I'm like, dude, dude, you, you good. You know, like and like I wish I had his legs. His calves, man, is strong. And every time like we're walking towards the shower, I'm like, show me those calves again and he just oh. starts, starts starts laughing at me and uh, but uh yeah, I guess him, yeah. Remember when Novak Djokovic crashed his Indian Wells presser a few years back and made this pronouncement? <laughs> okay, let's talk. <laughs> so no. My friend Grigor here, the best looking guy on the tour. <laughs> you don't need to talk about tennis too much. You have so much success this year. So let's talk about your looks. <laughs> so, yeah. so funny. Just the guys having a little fun. Well, en route to his first Masters final in Cincinnati, Nick Kyrgios knocked off Rafa Nadal. Now, no doubt he's got skills. In fact, some say he's the future of tennis. David Ferrer, who lost to Nick in the semifinals, thinks Nick could eventually be world number one and win slams. I think that he's a nice guy. He's, uh, uh, well, he's improving every year and he's the future. Uh, if he, he won't, he... He will have a lot of chance to be number one of the world and to win a, a, a Grand Slam, but it depends on his mentality. Leading up to her appearance at the U.S. Open, Maria Sharapova is appearing in the Hamptons magazine. In fact, it's her second cover shot for that magazine. Talking about her new memoir called Unstoppable, My Life So Far, Maria admits that she was depressed after her doping ban. She says leaving Russia as a child, though, gave her the mental toughness to deal with all the fallout. She also says it made her sad to think that people would believe that she intentionally doped. And we all know her comeback hasn't been easy so far, so we'll see how she performs at the U.S. Open. That's it for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.